Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Charbone Hydrogen's channel, the only pure play green hydrogen stock on the forefront of massive expansion. To give us an idea of what we can look forward to uh, moving forward with milestones, a little bit of valuation on the company and some recent news. Benoit, the CFO, joining as always. Welcome back, sir. Hi, thank you very much. Always a pleasure to get you back on, brother. I want to dive right into this. Uh, just looking forward, we haven't uh, talked about uh, you know what's coming into the summer for Charbonne. I know you guys are building some facilities, but what are you focused on and what should investors focus on from a milestone standpoint? Yeah, so Charbonne, um, like everyone says, uh, know that we are developing right now in construction our flagship uh, Surreal 3C plan uh, near Montreal. So. Um, that summer will be and next month will be busy on continuing and uh, getting to production uh, in second semester of this year uh, with our plan at Sarah Tracy and also preparing also our Michigan uh, plan uh, that we um, are aiming to, to get into production by the end of the year also. So there's also some financing that is going uh, well right now with our U.S. Um, bankers. Uh, that we have, let's say, announced a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so everything is on the right track, uh, and uh, there, there, there should be some great announcing soon. Yeah, and you guys have kind of restructured the company to focus more toward hydrogen. You even recently announced that you kind of received that non-binding cash offer to sell interest in your two American hydro projects, kind of moving away from that utility side. Do you want to talk about how that um, basically cash flows the company? Are you using that for some extra cash, and kind of just what does it mean overall? Yeah, certainly. So that's a very focus on hydrogen right now, like I said. So uh, those are kind of assets that we can monetize a bit and, and have some, some inflows to the company. But so we're in discussion right now. Uh, so for sure, Chabon will, will, will do a deal with uh, uh, when it will be good for the company. Um, so, uh, so right now it's just uh, under analysis and in discussion. Yeah, well, I appreciate the insight there. But I guess the real question then is, because uh, my thought on the company is this massive expansion moving forward, there's been a lot of um, not as much interest in the realm of smaller cap oriented companies, but you guys feel like you're on this cusp of some massive expansion. Do you want to talk about the value of the company? Do you think this is an undervalued play? Uh, what are your thoughts around that? Yeah, um, yeah thanks for asking. Yeah, for sure. Um, we are undervalued. Uh, but I know it's easy to say, but uh, we we are let's say, looking right now and, and having let's say some some third parties uh, evaluating us at a very higher value. And you just have I think investor can look at our uh, some comps, some some European and other let's say um, uh, company like us that are not let's say generating much of revenues, uh, but are evaluated much higher than us. So that's also um, where investor can see us, let's say concretely in 2024, uh, getting to production uh, that will for sure increase, let's say the valuation on the market. Yeah, I definitely appreciate that. So this is kind of just a pivotal year for you guys to just kind of prove out this facility that's going to kind of de-risk the entirety of the projects, right? And then you're going to be moving to this kind of cash flow uh, revenue generative phase. Do you see that kind of coming in play in 2025? Yeah, for sure. And and like I said, uh, let's say with the plan that we have, uh, everything is in place, falling into place is very uh, uh, is very uh, concrete here. And um, 2024 is just the start of uh, the following years that will uh, be continuing into our expansions. On that note, we'll pass it off to the viewers. As always, we'd love to know what you think. Consider subscribing because when news and catalysts like this, uh, like this hit the wire, of course, we'll bring it to you here. But on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.